Hello everyone. Today let's see how exactly we can prepare a simple wireless transmitter and a receiver. So using a simple encoder and a decoder. So the purpose of using encoder and decoder is to send the parallel data and you want to receive the same parallel data at the output side. So intermediate we have a serial in output and serial input which will be transmitted wirelessly so for this purpose there are two famous chipset which are used which is called as encoder and decoder one is ht12e which is the chipset available here and another is ht12d this is the one ht12d so using both of these chipset one is ht12e ht12d we transmit this serial output using an ASK modulator so we have a separate module so before that let's see how exactly the encoder and decoder works so here the encoder has eight data line and four eight address line and four data lines as you can see address lines are a0 to a7 and data lines are d0 to d3 similarly on the decoder side we have the data which is d0 to d7 as an output which is coming out of the decoder and we have address line actually these address line has to be inputted the direction for these address lines are actually input that we are providing this address and this here also the direction for this uh, address line is an input data is also input so so on setting this address I suppose to set the same address on the both the side that is on encoder side also decoder side also I suppose to set the same address and then you will see you will send the data and you supposed to get output for example if I am going to set this address at 0, 0, 0, 0 something 1 and I want to send the data let's say 1100 0, 0, 1101 let's say I want to send this then it encodes it in the serial format for this address for this data it gives serial output now that serial output which is something uh, an unknown sequence serially comes out which is encoded it given as an input to this in if this address line is now set to 0, 0, 0, 0, 0001 if this address is set to 001 that means same address what you have set here then you are able to get here the data which is transmitted over there which is actually 1101 you get this output otherwise let's say if I am going to make this as let's say one of the bit as 0 instead of making this one if I make it 0 your default value of the output is 1111 one, one, one. that means always high so this is wrong so the encoder actually protects the data with an address so that whatever address I set here for that data I will suppose to set the same address and you get the data so actually it is possible to send at a time only 4 bit you can send 4 bit for certain address so there is a module now there is always a module in the market to use such a simple encoder and decoder so which I have it here and it uses a simple the serial output what I say will be fed to this particular ASK transmitter because this transmitter needs a serial data in at certain frequency at about kilohertz because this output will be generated in terms of the kilohertz and similarly we have a decoder circuit and this decoder circuit will be taking the data by receiving the ASK so this there is two independent the the wireless part is only because of this the wired encoding decoding will be done this so to, to check this module you need not use this you can straight away connect the serial out to serial in of this so you are supposed to get the data this module has all that facility what I demonstrated what I explained here like it has an address line selection which is supposed to given as an input you can set the address normally these pins are actually pulled high the encoder chip is here as you can see this is an encoder chip so HT12E is an encoder chipset so there is another decoder chipset which is over here so same thing is put up here now this is active high input so 
if you want to make it low you need to pull it to down so if i am going to connect it here now all these pins are actually pulled to low so if you want to set certain address you can set the address here and these inputs also pull to high so if you press this you are grounding the pin so that you are making it zero similarly on the other end you can see here again you need to set an address whatever address you set it you have to set the same address over here so that you need to receive the data and you can see the data on the output terminal there is one more which is actually the strobe or the vt pin which gives the data pulse as soon as uh, there is a transmission on the other side it blinks actually so you can pull these uh, line to see whether there is a data or not now let me make a connection i'm going to connect this so this module will fit in this so that i've connected this serial out to the in of this particular chipset so that we can transmit this data now it is ready for the transmission another is receiver so again the module supposed to fit make sure that at the back side there is a pin definition it's supposed to match with the the pin definition which is given here so make sure with the polarity so you need to power a plus 5 volt supply for this so as you do this now it is ready for the connection so i'm going to make a connection i'm going to put a 5 volt input here so let me connect a 5 volt input from my power supply and another for the receiver so you can take it independently these two can be connected with the independent power supply since it is wireless if you are using same power supply without wireless then ground supposed to be common otherwise you can have a independent power supply now i made a connection let me turn it on so as you can see this is turned on now so now if you want to see that there is a data transmission as i said it is active high always it is going to be high so whenever i press a data bit i'm going to give an input you can see that it is going low i'm going to press a button so this is going low similarly i'm going to two buttons i'm going to press two buttons so that d0 and d1 are going to be low let me press three button so d0 d1 d2 are going to be low so any four data you can transmit for a particular address so what happens if i change the address let me change the address here i made it the address pattern in this way here the address pattern is different now if you try to press you try to press any key it doesn't respond that means for a particular address only this works as a simple encoder and a decoder so i will set it back again for the same address so let me again transmit see here this transmits now so i can see the operation so there is a small pulse which is coming as whenever you make a data change it can be seen it's a very small pulse so you can't make out it here so this is how ht12e and ht12d can be used with a simple rf high frequency transmitter which is 433 megahertz transmitter and receiver so you can get uh, this also in the market you can ask for 433 megahertz ask trans receiver so it works for a good range it depends on there is a one i mean with few meters it works actually very well so this is how you can see you can make a simple wireless transmitter using an ht12e and ht12d you can control any of the appliances very easily by connecting it to any of the microcontroller relay or motor you can operate this you can also design a robotic uh, machine or it could be a robot using uh, forward backward reverse all this by connecting any some logical circuits over here so this is how we can make a simple transmitter and receiver using ht12e and ht12d along with the ask transmitter of 433 megahertz thank you